नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी इज वन ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी वेयर अ स्टूडेंट ड्रीम्स टू परस्यू इज पीजी और पीएचडी मोर देन द स्टडी द पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द स्टाइपेंड एंड अदर रिलेटेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर देयर सो ऑफ कोर्स इट इज नेसेसरी इन टुडेस एरा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ सर्टेन पोस्ट कॉल्ड एज एचआर सो हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पीएचडी इन बीएचयू सो सीनियर रेसिडेंट पोस्ट इन डिटेल विल बी डेल्ड इन दिस वीडियो as everyone is already aware of bhu location and all those things we'll directly enter into the topic that is the senior resident post so basically bhu is different from other national institutes in the matter or by the fact that the ims is governing the principles especially in relation to the payment now this bhu as a course for as post graduation and you have already seen the stipend of post graduate scholars in bhu which goes more than one keeping this in mind some people have a query in their mind that a phd scholar in bhu may get more than the pg scholars in relation to the salary of stipend it's not so in bhu the difference between a phd scholar and the senior resident or you can say the phd scholar lies in the entitlement of salary and salary scale a scholar who is entitled or is who is entering the phd in phu will get a very minimum amount per month an exact amount i am not revealing in this video because it is way below expectation and that is one reason why usually students or scholars don't prefer phd from bhu that is when they look into other institutes like jamnagar and nash and the jaipur and even all india institute of ayurveda where phd is regular along with a good Uh, stipend unlike the bhu now there is an alternate option for bhu phd scholars that is the concept of senior resident there is a post of senior resident and it gets uh, like notified every year on a particular month whenever there is vacancy according to the department so a phd scholar who is entitled or who is going to get uh, phd from that ph or who is already engaged in the phd study there can get into this sr post so it is like he is continuing the phd as well as being in a post of sr of course even if you are not doing phd you can apply for this post of senior resident so what is this all about we are going to see that in detail basic age limit is just like an assistant professor in the major institutes that is 45 years for an unreserved candidate and of course for reserved candidates there is age relaxation and it doesn't have any Uh, practical uh, you can say logical reasoning as of now so if you ask me i am not uh, in favor of all these things but as per the rules it is given so just we have uh, we have to review that and then eligibility who is eligible to get into the sr post if you remember the uh, post stipend of post graduate scholar what i made the video in the previous uh, few weeks ago the pg scholars are considered as jr junior resident now these people are considered as senior resident which means they should have the eligibility of both bms as well as post graduation so it could be md or ms depending on the department and of course a registration in the state register as well, or as the center register that is uh, is compulsory so mode of selection will be direct interview there will not be any exam that is why there are high chances that a scholar well known to the department will be chosen so this is the open secret there is nothing to hide here so very well known student or who has just passed out from pg in the same institute is highly likely to get a seat in sr post of course if there is if there are no students from the respective department who is who is being favored of course there are chances for even outsiders now the tenure for this kind of post is for is 3 years now the pay scale so this is the uh, matter in relation to salary the pay scale of a senior resident in bhu is level 11 so it was 10 in the case of jr it is level 11 year so the minimum will be 67700 that is the basic salary and it could go up to 2 lakh of course it doesn't go up to 2 lakh year it is the basic of 67700 and next two years so the salary how it is calculated here is based on the calculations additions of basic pay dearness allowance non practicing allowance traveling allowance then home rental allowance house rental allowance so these are added so basic i have already mentioned so first year second year third year so three years Senior residents will be getting a basic of sixty-seven seven hundred, 